She looks like an aspiring supermodel, but this young woman is something a little more special. Ariana Miyamoto is the first mixed race woman ever to win the title Miss Japan. Ariana is what is known here as a hafu, not foreign, but not fully Japanese either. I have lived in Japan all my life, but if I say I'm Japanese, people reply, no, you can't be. They don't believe it. It sounds strange, but for us mixed kids, we need this word hafu. It gives us an identity. While the foreign media is flocking to meet her, the Japanese media has all but ignored Ariana's victory. I am definitely getting more attention from outside Japan. When I walk down the street here, no Japanese people recognize me. But lots of foreign tourists stop and say, congratulations. In fact, the reaction of some Japanese on social media has been downright hostile. Is it OK to select a hafu to represent Japan, tweeted one? It makes me uncomfortable to say she represents Japan, another. This place still looks incredibly homogenous, and Japan still has a very narrow definition of what it means to be Japanese. It's built on a myth that Japanese are special, unique, even genetically separate from the rest of us. Of course, it's not true. Japanese are an ethnic hodgepodge, part Korean, part Chinese, part Southeast Asian. But the myth is still strong, and that makes being different here very hard. Maiko was born in Japan, to a Japanese mother and a German father. Now she lives in Australia. I feel like I, that Japan belongs to me, but I don't belong to it. <laughs> it's hard for me to say I am Japanese because, like I said before, I feel resistance from other people if I say that. You know, they'll say, no, you're not, you're, you're half. I feel like I just accepted my place in this society as what I am and who I am. Um, so, it only hurts when I try to be Japanese. But people like Maiko and Ariana are part of a growing trend. One in 50 children born in Japan today is biracial. 20,000 babies a year.